Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Sabak. I think the uh, retail version of it uh, is the Han Solo card game. It's in a bigger box. This is actually the Galaxy's Edge special edition uh, back when uh, people went to Disneyland. And um, my wife picked it up for me, and it's a cool little box inside of which you have, oh, two dice, uh, and a deck of these uh, interesting hex cards. Uh, and the rules, they're bent, but it, it's fine. Um, da, da, da. And so, and I, so I, don't, I haven't seen the other version. This is the only version I've seen. And so if you're not familiar with it, this is the card game from the movies. Um, but basically, it's like a variant on poker. Uh, it's actually a, a cool variant on poker, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, everyone's going to have uh, two cards. Uh, two cards for this player over here. Two cards for me. It's got a cool, like, oh, you got two cards. Um, rather than five. And then dealer is going to flip over uh, the first card. Basically, the way these cards work are there are two colors. There are red cards and green cards. I will note, if you are red, green, colorblind, uh, not the game for you. Uh, but there are uh, 20 in e uh, e There are three suits, each of which have um, 20 cards. The green ones are positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The red ones are negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you have two zero cards uh, da, 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 in there as well. Uh, and so, like a black, these are the zero cards. Um, so basically, the objective of the game is to be the player that's closest to zero. And it's sort of like closest to zero with the fewest cards. I'll talk about that in a second. But so, uh, if you have uh, a plus two and a minus two, all right, so uh, this is a one, if I believe. It's all symbols. You'll get used to it. But a green, negative one, and a red, negative, uh, red, negative one, green, positive one, I have two cards that equal zero. This is a very good hand. Um, but, you know, maybe I don't have that. And so what you do in this game is on your turn, there's a, you can draw a card, decide to keep it or discard it, or you can, uh, on subsequent turns, you can trade a card from your hand with the card in the center. Uh, or you can junk your hand, or you can stand. So a like, junking is folding. So you can basically draw a card, increasing your hand so size, swapping, keeping the same number, uh, or, or, or um, fo uh, uh, folding. And essentially, uh, you can have as little as two cards, got the two cards I want, stand, 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 or over the course of three rounds, you can have up to five cards. Um, drawing up, a, like if I drew a card each round, I would end with five cards. And... Um, uh, and so they're basically all these hands that revolve around getting zero. So it's like, oh, you've got double zero. That's the best. Then you've got negative one, positive one. Okay, that's good. Oh, but now you have it with pair and a pair. So that's good. And now you have it with these numbers going up, these numbers going down. It's like there are even more variants. And these are, they're all, they all got thematic names, I guess, but like a straight, a flush, a royal flush. There's just all sorts of combinations you can get to make it. None of which, like, you're going to be referring to this thing constantly until you've played this a ton of times. Um, the other little nuance is between each round, the dealer rolls these two dice, uh, and if they come up doubles, if you have the two sides, and they're cool dice, uh, everyone tosses in their hands and starts over. So it's got this weird, like, it's not really push your luck because you have to do it. It's just like, yeah, you roll dice and everyone has a chance to just start again. It'd be like you're playing World Series of Poker and, uh, you know, as you're flipping, uh, uh, you know, you have a, uh, the, the, the river, and like after each car you flip a coin, and if the coin comes up head, everyone starts over. It's like, it makes it a wild roll, it makes it dynamic, it, it's a little uh, disruptive. The weirdest thing, you play this and, you, and, you, and you, you enjoy it, and I played it with my family, and like, you know, it's interesting, but you're like, boy, this game should have gambling. Like, why doesn't this game have gambling? <laughs> and, you know, reading through the rules, nothing in here about anteing or how to bet. And I was like, what? Especially since in the movies, there's so much about that. And uh, basically, there are other rules <laughs> that include the gambling rules. And I suspect if you're going to sell a game at Disney, uh, Disneyland, you're not going to sell kids a game about gambling. That's my guess. Um, but I would say if you're not playing with those rules, you'll play it a few times and then not play it too many more. I could be mistaken. Um, it is easy to teach. It is quick. The iconography and color and all that, like, and just, like, the types of hands, it's like, you know, again, it's like that designer that took 
poker and was like, let me make the deck always different. Let me give it a weird size. Let me make all the shapes weird. And like, you know, sure, I think a spade, a heart, a diamond was arbitrary 500 years ago or 300 years ago. However, all those a deck of cards is perhaps more. Um, but people get it now. This is like a, a learning experience with everyone you play. It's novel. It's actually an okay game. Um, so anyway, Sabak. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.